What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel and some more Flames of War Late War action here for the Germans. We are looking at a box of the new plastic SDKFC 251 transports, giving us four here, where we can go MG or have the smaller anti-tank gun option as well. So we'll get this open and sorted and we'll be right back. Alright guys, we've got everything open here and here is a look. So we get our decals nicely provided here. Basically we get four of these sprues, so... I'm um, just going to show you one, of course. They're all the same, but basically we get a crewman firing the MG, some passengers, and a commander type of guy. So, cool stuff there. We'll come to the cards in just a second. The business end here, the main deal. So our plastic half-track, again, we see all the MGs and everything there. Tracks and body all that stuff and then our if we can get that to focus the 3.7 centimeter AT gun there and I believe with some uh, bits in here if you want to go like the pioneer wagon route as well not that that's necessarily a part of this particular transport kit but I think it is neat to still have that option so overall it doesn't look like it's going to be too bad for assembly and again nice and easy to work with with the new plastics new or old plastics <clears throat> and then basically we get our two cards basically if we want to go half track regular half track or ss so taking a look at the differences here so motivation a little bit better on the ss side right so we got three better on counterattack, better on mounted assault and better on remount now Skill-wise, interestingly, uh, the regular um, half-track is veteran, the SS are trained, transport assault's the same, same uh, mounting or mounted assault, one or two uh, passengers, and as we see there, so everything else is the same. However, is hit on three for the SS because they're aggressive, whereas careful for the other guys, minimal armor, of course, these are not heavily armored vehicles of course but uh, better than you know absolutely nothing so you get a little bit of protection for things like mgs and stuff like that top armor of course is not going to be a fun time for you speed wise everything is the same there so crossing up on a three as well and then our stats so again we're basically toting around some machine guns so good rate of fire there reaching out to 16 and we do get self-defense aa as well and if we do want to take the 3.7 centimeter option we get a decent little anti-tank gun again not going to threaten really any real tank at the end of the war here or late war period but random things we can certainly threaten with a couple of side or rear shots and certainly will be more than capable of dealing with lighter type of vehicle similar to this or other scout type vehicles too and again firepower four on that however those are forward facing so obviously again not built into a turret flipping things over so again basically running down the list here so forward firing mounted assault passengers three self-defense aa stormtroopers and unit transport so nothing really different on the rear end there so that's everything we get again we get four of the tr um, half tracks so four sprues four of the crew sprues some decals and our card so that is everything in a nutshell for the uh, German main German transport uh, half track here so let us know in the comments guys if you enjoyed this new plastic kit if you are running your Germans or would you prefer uh, or do you still prefer the older like resin metal hybrids um, and then also just their sort of fit now in the newest edition of the game and newest sort of late war um, period, how these work and whether you prefer running these in SS lists or regular lists. So hit us up in the comments there, guys. Like and subscribe if you could. Everything helps there. And then we will see you in the next one with some more late war flames coverage.